Hello. Hello. <laughs> so what are you holding? Uh, what is in it? And tell me what we're going to do today. I'm holding a pan and a spoon. Okay. In the spoon there is nothing. In the pan there is sugar and potassium nitrate. Okay. Mixed together. Why? Um, because we're making smoke bombs. Right, that's what I wanted to hear. There's um, 60 grams of potassium nitrate. Which is what? Which is essentially fertilizer for tomatoes and things like that. Or explosives, depending on how you want to look at it. Right. So um, if you can just pick up those explosives at a, a local store, can you? Can, you can probably find them online to right. buy for about £3.50 plus £2.50 delivery. Right. Yes, it's quite good. Sugar, you can find pretty much you know, anywhere you want sugar. Um... So yeah, I've mixed them together in the pan, and now because I'm nice and safe, I'm going to mix them together on a barbecue. Right, so this obviously is the barbecue. That's been going for quite a while now, the flames have burnt down. Yes. So obviously you can do this on a hob, you're just doing it outside to be safer. Yeah, I don't really want to burn my house down. Yeah, look at it there, it's, it's a lovely house. There's the hob through there in the kitchen. We don't, we don't really want to blow it all up. No, not particularly. So, so here we go, a shit barbecue. Stick it on the heat, and... Uh, Probably going to take a couple of minutes for this, so you just stir it for about two minutes. And, uh, yeah, watch out. What's going to happen now then? Very little for two minutes, and then at the bottom, the sugar will start to turn into caramel, caramelized, yeah. and uh, then that'll make it a lot easier to mix, and it'll turn into a kind of a brown. Should you not be wearing some sort of uh, safety equipment or something at this point? Any goggles or anything like that? or? Gloves. Um, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Can anyone get some? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this like this. You just keep stirring it for me then. Keep stirring it. What do you fucking think I am? I'm not the hired help. I'm a trained cameraman. He can fucking stir it himself. Lazy bastard. Keep stirring it. I don't know. Safety first. Well, or safety second. second. <laughs> safety second, explosives first. Okay, how's it coming along now? Um, the sugar has just started to uh, turn into caramel. Potassium nitrate caramel. Um, Sounds tasty. Leaving big lumps. Do you want to try some? Not particularly. No, I don't think so. Maybe some other time. <laughs> Maybe when, later. When I feel suicidal one time, perhaps. Not right at this moment. So yeah, the bottom layer obviously is the one that turns to caramel because it's closest to the heat. But if you just keep mixing it, it should all go. How many are you going to make out of this mixture? Just one out of this. Okay. You could double the amounts if you want to make two, but be careful because when we add the bicarbonate of soda, it's going to grow pretty big in the pan, like right. self-raising flour sort of. So that's the next step, is it? That is the step I'm going to perform right now because that's about ready. So you just want one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, which is used to um, dampen the explosive properties. So that's just like like baking soda. Yeah, bicarbonate of soda, baking soda. It's the same thing. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Put it in mix it around and it should start to grow quite quickly. Let's get a good shot of this. There you, go, you can see it expanding so I'll move it up again. Further from the heat because we don't want it too oh, yeah. big. It's starting to foam. Yeah. We want to keep it in the pan though so we've got to keep it down here. And pretty much straight away, when it's at this point, you want to put some dye in. Okay. It needs to be powdered dye. Is that is that for part of the reaction, or is that just for the That's dye? That's for coloured smoke. It doesn't, so it doesn't actually create any part of the grenade, it's just for the colour? Yeah. But yeah. there is quite a lot of it in there, so... Um, what colour have we got? We have tulip red. Tulip red? A Not good colour. Tulip red. Which, for some reason, is actually purple. It is very purple. I believe. So then how, you how much have you got of that? Three heaped teaspoons. Right, so that's, that's quite a bit of dye. That's quite a lot. Yeah. Three times as much as bicarbonate of soda. 
and then mix it all up. Keep it on the heat the whole time now. It's going to take a while to mix all this in because it's quite a lot. Soon there shouldn't be any purple or whatever colour you've used powder. It's left definitely in starting there. to go red now. Yeah, you can see a definite change in colour. It's kind of a browny, disgusting looking colour actually. Just keep mixing. few more seconds. Try and keep it off the top of the pan because it will dry quite quickly. While you're doing that, what are the sort of benefits of doing something like this? What are we expecting to happen? What, what are we expecting to gain from it? From what? Making a smoke bomb. What are the purposes of smoke bombs? smoke. Okay. That's pretty much the only purpose of a smoke bomb. We're not doing this for any scientific purposes. We just want to make a lot of smoke. Cool smoke, yeah. Okay. Right, so now that's mixed. I'm going to take it off the heat a bit. And now what? That's So that, is that all the mixture so complete? That's pretty much the mixture done, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to leave it actually just as off the heat as I possibly can without actually taking it off. Uh, get a little cardboard container. Okay, what are you using there for a cardboard container? I'm using a uh, Nestle Milky Bar buttons. So there's nothing in the tube, that's just an empty tube that obviously I can see you've cut in half and now you just pile, pile in it in, yep. Yeah. Leave the bottom on, otherwise it's just going to drop straight out the other side. It is very hot. So watch how on the sides where you're holding it, it's going to get quite warm. Keeping it on the heat stops it from turning into a uh, crispy solid like it has done at the top of here on the spoon. Extremely hot, so I'm going to put it down. <coughs> Push as much in. Again, using that uh, invaluable stick. Yes. Can those sticks be purchased anywhere? <laughs> yes, they're just. Regular garden canes for growing. Say, canes. say if somebody wanted to do this and didn't have garden canes, what else could they use? A nice thick pen would also do the job. Right. As long as you don't. What about another spoon? Another spoon, yeah. If you don't mind losing a spoon or wrecking one a little bit. So, preferably someone else's spoon? Yeah, ideally, steal one. Two? Steal two spoons and a pan. I didn't try to catch that because it's quite warm. Unfortunately, I missed that. I was still watching the pan. I saw it, but the camera didn't. He, yes, he, he dropped a little bit of the mixture, went to, went catch, to it. catch it, and then obviously thought, oh, that's a bad idea. Very glad I didn't. That's pretty much as much of the mixture as I can get. What's all what's this? Is this just hardened? It's kind of gone very hard around the edges because it's not as hot all up right. here. Oh, I can scrape some of it off because it's still warm. And the more we get in, the better. Right. Now this is full, you've got to use your uh, invaluable stick. Oh, it really is invaluable. Many yes. uses. Multiple use stick. You push it down the centre. All the way to the bottom? All the way to the bottom. So, when you've got your stick pushed down into the centre, you basically just need to put it somewhere to cool down because it's piping hot. How long do we need to leave this for? Um, I'd leave it for about an hour. Just try and keep the stick central because that's where our uh, fuse is going to go. Okay, so we'll just go and do something else for an hour. Yes. Okay. Let's go.